Action News Now Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. High temperatures this afternoon, a little hotter than they were over the weekend. The weekend was pretty comfortable, although it's so smoky outside, it's kind of difficult to enjoy the cool down. Today, we uh, saw those temperatures heat back up 102 in Redding, 103 in Red Bluff, and 100 in Cording, 94 the afternoon high temperature in Chico, and in Weaverville, and in Hayfork, Ron's at 91 in Quincy, and 90 the afternoon high temperature in Chester. We are going to see these temperatures crank it up a little bit over the next few days. But you look outside, and even if the temperatures were nice where you were, I don't know if you really want to be outside all that much. This is a live look from our Tuscan Ridge camera. Normally, we could see Mount Lassen off in the distance. No chance of seeing Lassen on a day like today. Just so much smoke and haze and ash in the air out there. And unfortunately, it looks like that's not going to get better anytime soon until those fires are put out, basically. So looking at our forecast for tomorrow, temperatures starting to heat up and that smoke and haze and ash continuing to be a, an issue for us. 70 at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, 91 at noontime, nearly 100 in the afternoon, and again, awfully smoky out there yet again. So I mean, not our, our best forecast we've ever had to offer up, but that's the way Mother Nature deals it. Heating up this week here, temperatures close to 100 or even in the triple digits in many areas. Smoky skies, not budging. We'll cool down a little bit this weekend, but I don't know if the smoky skies are really going to clear up anytime soon. All the smoke and haze coming from the car fire and from the Mendocino complex. Boy, just look at the Mendocino complex fanning out. This, as we heat things up in the afternoon, the atmosphere is allowed to, to ventilate a little bit, and so these ash plumes and these smoke plumes rise a little more vertically in the atmosphere. Then they get caught up in the upper level winds, and that's going to take this smoke plume back on over Butte County. It already is over Glen County. It already is over western Calusa County, and it'll drift it off to the east here overnight and just keeping the smoke and the haze and the ash continuing to fall. On a clear day, our skies look like this on this visible satellite image. On a smoky and cloudy, murky day, oh boy, you can just see all the smoke and haze in the air. And that's going to continue, unfortunately. So again, not our best forecast here. High temperatures anywhere from the mid-90s to the upper 90s. Maybe not too bad on the western side of Trinity County or maybe the western side of Siskiyou County, but the eastern side dealing with the smoke and the ash. In the Sierra and the Cascades, unavoidable. The Whaleback Fire, good news with that, it's 95% contained there on the shores, the southwestern shores of Eagle Lake. Uh, but the smoke and the haze from the car fire and the uh, Mendocino complex, uh, they, they've made it this far uh, east as well. On the ridge, middle and upper 90s tomorrow, and smoky skies continuing. In the north end of the valley, low temperatures tonight in the mid-60s. Tomorrow, those afternoon highs getting hotter, 105 at Red Bluff, 107 in Redding. In the mid-valley, overnight low temperatures in the middle and lower 60s. And then tomorrow, for afternoon highs, 99, 100, depending on where you happen to be. Your Storm Tracker 7-day forecast, the weekend is always in view, right around 100 over the next three days, and then a little cooler over the weekend, and that smoke and ash and haze not budging, at least until those fires are put out. And in Reading, ooh, we're getting kind of hot here over the next few days, and with that smoke and ha ash in the air, uh, just a good idea to stay indoors if you can, because it's uh, not too pleasant outside these days. It's hard to stay indoors when you have to uh, get some football uh, practice. The <laughs> yeah. uh, season is, is fast approaching here. Mm -hmm. We're a couple weeks away now, and uh, some schools have had a hard time with practices, obviously. Some gym time, or they've been missing some, but a lot of schools have been getting in practices as mm -hmm. well, and we're starting our